Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how you can get a new IP address with NordVPN. Whether you're looking to get a new IP address uh, simply to protect your device and your online activities, or to maybe access foreign markets and streaming services perhaps that you may not have access to in your region, whether you're abroad or you simply want the freedom to access the internet. So let's talk a little bit about that and how you can make that happen with NordVPN in case you have NordVPN already and you're not sure how to use it and you don't have it in your still not sure whether or not it works. Today I'll talk about that and I'll make a recommendation on whether or not I would go for NordVPN myself. Now let's start with how you can get yourself a new IP address. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is, well, download the VPN. You must get a subscription first. So you can use the link below if you'd like to save a little bit more money on your subscription. Once you've downloaded the application, whether you're on Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android, or whatever other device, it's roughly gonna be the same interface as you can tell right here. So once you're in the application, it's as simple as zooming in and out on the map or searching up the location yourself on the search bar right here or using the list, you can just scroll down the list and find the location that you're looking for. You've got 61 locations or 61 countries and over 6,000 servers. So you do have plenty of countries, not as many as other big VPNs, I would say, like Express and Surfshark. They've got over 100 countries at this point. So 61 countries may not be that much, but again, it's probably enough for most people. So it's not such a big deal. So once you're on the interface right here, you just wanna zoom in on the location. So previously I was just connected to uh, the United States server. So for the sake of experimentation, let's just connect to Madrid uh, this time. And all you have to do again is just click on the map or just look it up or find the location that you're looking for on the list. So now that I'm connected to the Spanish server I'll go to the IP finder so I'm using what is my IP address.com just give it a refresh and it should show that I'm in Madrid as you can tell right here it's a different IP address and whatever it is that is only available in Spain will also become available to me by virtue of connecting to the Spanish server right here with NordVPN and it's as simple as that now if you're not really sure about NordVPN and whether or not it's a good choice for you I would say if you're looking for the fastest VPN and just overall a very well-rounded VPN that gives you a whole bunch of bonus features for a very reasonable price, and you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. And it does the job if you're looking to stream all kinds of streaming services or access foreign markets that are not available to you and also freely access the free internet no matter your location, then NordVPN is honestly a solid choice, especially if you're looking for something that is secure, that doesn't share your information with third parties or ISPs or anything like that. Yeah, NordVPN, I would say, is an easy recommendation for anybody looking for a solid VPN. So feel free to check out the review below though if you'd like to learn a little bit more about it. And again, if you end up getting it, you'll find a discount below that'll save you a little bit more money. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.